Hey guys, welcome back to another video. People have been asking me questions about why I chose MIS, that is Management Information Systems as a course. And I thought I should just be making a video about it. So here is the video. In this video, I will be talking to you about what MIS is and also which are the colleges that offer MIS and also a little bit about the curriculum and the job opportunities after completing your masters in MIS. So let's dive straight into the video. In order to answer this question, let us just do a simple Google search. So let me just see what is MIS. Mm, okay, here's a good, good information from Wikipedia. You can see here the study of the management information systems involves people, processes and technology in an organizational context. Okay, this goes on to tell us that this is a multidisciplinary field which involves not just technology, but also people, the organizational behavior and processes. Okay, so in order to do your masters in MIS, all these are going to be taught, but not in the exact fashion. Okay, so let's just go see which universities actually offer this MIS. So here I've put up around 10 top universities that have been ranked according to the US News. And this is the list that I currently have. So we have MIT at the top, then you have Carnegie Mellon, you have U of A, which is Ella College of Management, you have Texas Austin, you have University of Minnesota, Stanford University, GIT, GSU, NYU, and of course, UMCP. So these are the top 10 programs, and I'm gonna take you into the curriculum of each of these universities and show you what exactly is being taught in these universities. To start off with, I'll just go to University of Arizona. It's the one place that I know really well because I've applied for my master's program here. So you, you can see the subjects, they range from business communications to analytics to EDM, which is nothing but your SQL and querying. And you have business data communications, you have business foundations, and of course the information systems analysis and design. And this is one favorite subject of mine, which is LR business consulting. You can go, go here and check out what each of these courses actually means as well. You can see the view MI, MSMIS courses and that will give you all the courses and a brief description about them. Okay, without wasting any time, I'll just jump into the UMCP's website, which is University of Maryland College Park. So this is also one of the top 10 programs across America. So let's see, first year you've got managing digital business markets and you have data models and decisions, database management systems, data processing and analysis in Python, strategic and transformational IT. These are the subjects just in the first semester. And you can already see certain trends coming from Ella and into UMCP that data is common and understanding the system design is common. And you also have a few communication subjects like you, you saw business data communication. And here you have project management, you have business process analysis, computer simulation for business application. And the trend just continues. I've, I've put up this link as well in the description. So please feel free to go and check it out. And next, I'm just jumping into Foster School of Business, which is University of Washington. So here as well, you can just see it at the top. There's data mining analytics, cybersecurity, cloud computing, executive leadership. These are the specializations that they offer. And even if you go into the curriculum, you'll be seeing a very similar set of subjects. Okay, I'll go into one of the top courses. This is CMU Carnegie Mellon. So here as well, you can see the core subjects. You have database management, you have object-oriented programming, you have organizational design and implementation, and you also have concentrations ranging from AI and robotics to software development and strategy and business intelligence and whatnot. 
Okay, this is a brief introduction about the curriculum and you can of course make use of this uh, website that I've put together which has top 10 MIS programs in the US. Of course, uh, you're not limited to only 10 options. You have lots of other options. Almost every other business school offers you a specialization in MIS. So you should feel free to go and check it out. But this is a good starter if you look if you don't have much idea about MIS and which universities offer MIS. Now comes the billion dollar question. Is this even worth being employable? Yes, of course it is. And in order to prove this to you, I just can't give you statistics, but I would like to take you to the website of certain universities and show where the alumni are placed at or what roles they are in. So to start off with, let's start with the best. So that is CMU. So there's some fancy companies out here and an excellent salary range, which I'm not even going to talk about. But what do the graduates work as? So the roles that are open or at least where people are working at right now are data analysts, data scientist, product manager, software engineer, consultant, software developer and business intelligence engineer. And let me tell you, this is pretty much constant. You do NMIS and these are the job roles you will be applying to because this is what you study in your masters and you will feel better off in one of these roles. So this was for CMU. I'm just gonna do it for another university and that's gonna be the University of Arizona. So here's the employment report from 2020. And you can see the acceptance by function area you see project or product manager management where 29 percent of the students get into and you have consulting which is 19 percent software engineering at 14 data analytics or science at 11 data anal business analytics at 11 it operations at eight percent and cyber security at eight percent so each of our interests could be different. Somebody would like to become a project manager while someone else might want to be uh, a business intelligence analyst or something like that. So MIS being a multidisciplinary course will offer you that flexibility. So if you're someone who is not really interested in coding, but you are a technical person, I would say MIS is for you because I am one of those people. I don't really enjoy coding, but I am technical. I like to be on the technical side of things, which is why I chose to do MIS. So I, f I believe this would be a great starter for those who are interested in this field and would like to explore more. So feel free to check the description side of this video so you can check out all these links, which could be of a lot of help for you. And also please feel free to leave any comments about this video. So that'll help me improve my videos going further. Mm -hmm. And lastly, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing a lot more videos about comparing different universities and different colleges for MIS. Um, and you might find that helpful too. Thank you for watching this video and see you again.